Welcome to the Gamma Xi chapter of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated 2022 Omega Talent Hunt. Greetings, beloved. I am Bishop James Jones, the chaplain of the Gamma Xi chapter, and I'm excited uh, for this year's talent hunt. And I want you collectively to join me in a moment. Gracious God, we so lovingly honor you and we thank you for yet another year of talent. God, we ask that you would bless all of our participants. We ask, oh God, that you would put your hand upon the families that they represent. God, we ask that you would even bless the communities in which they come from. And finally, oh God, we ask that you would continue to bless the efforts of our beloved Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. God, we thank you for this day. God, we thank you for all the participants. And God, we thank you for keeping us to see such a momentous occasion. Now, oh God, have your way like only you can. This is our prayer, the only name that really matters the name of the Supreme Counselor of the Universe, the Omniscient One. It's in that name that we do pray. And they all say, Amen. Your MC for this program is the Honorable David Wooded, Judge of Chesapeake Juvenile and Domestic Relations District Court. Mr. Woodard is a graduate of Hampton University and the College of William and Mary Marshall White School of Law. He began his legal career with the Law Office of Stone and Associates in Williamsburg in 1994. He became a public defender with the city of Suffolk in 1995 and joined the Chesapeake Commonwealth's Attorney Office in 2001. Mr. Woodard also has taught for many years at Tidewater Community College as an adjunct professor. Judge Woodard was elected by the Virginia General Assembly in March of 2018 to serve as judge of the Juvenile and Domestic Relations District Court, and his term as judge began on July 1st. A very active member of the community Mr. Wooded is a youth sports coach, formerly the president of the Chesapeake Bar Association, an active member of several committees with the Virginia State Bar, a former member of the Chesapeake Planning Commission. He held offices of chairman and secretary and an active member of Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity Incorporated. He lives with his wife of 23 years, daughter and two sons. He is also a parishioner of the St. Thomas Episcopal Church in Chesapeake. Ladies and gentlemen, David Wooded. Good evening. My name is David Wooded, and on behalf of the Gamma Xi chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated, we welcome you to the 2022 Gamma Xi Omega Talent Hunt. At this time, we'll have some words of welcome from our bossless brother, Delvin Peaks. Hello and welcome to the 2022 Talent Hunt Program being hosted by the Gamma Xi Chapter of Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. My name is Delvin Peaks and I'm the bossless of Gamma Xi Chapter. And I hope that you will enjoy the program and the talent that we have in Virginia Beach and the surrounding cities. This is a program that we do annually to give young people an opportunity to display their arts and go on to compete at the district and possibly even national level. So again, thank you for joining us and we hope you enjoy the program. Thank you, Brother Peaks. At this time, I'd like to give you a little history about our organization and our chapter. The Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated was founded on the campus of Howard University on November 17, 1911, by three undergraduate students and their graduate advisor. That small beginning grew into an international powerhouse organization. It has chapters throughout the United States and the world. And most recently, a chapter was established in the Dominican Republic. 
Our chapter, the Gamma Xi chapter of Omega Psi Phi fraternity, was established in Virginia Beach in 1976 by brothers who had graduated from Norfolk State University, Hampton University, Virginia State University, and several others to establish a presence in the Virginia Beach area. Today, we stand very strong in that area, and tonight we put on this talent hunt competition, which has happened yearly throughout the existence of this chapter, and for many years throughout the fraternity. This evening, you will have the pleasure of viewing several talented teens who will be vying for scholarships of first prize $500, second prize $300, and third prize $200. Our first place winner will represent our chapter in the third district talent competition, which encompasses chapters throughout Virginia and Washington, D.C. Our first contestant will be Mr. Devante Melton. Devante is a 17-year-old senior at I.C. Norcom High School in Portsmouth, Virginia. Devante is a very busy and successful student, participating in the versatile marching band, the advanced chorus, drama, baseball, soccer, and football. He stays on the honor roll with a 3.3 GPA, and he plans to attend Norfolk State University and major in music. Please welcome Devante Melton singing It's a Man's World. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. Oh, but it would be nothing, nothing without a woman. Of a girl, a woman of a girl. You see, men made the cost to take us over the road, oh. and men made the train to carry the heavy load. I never made the electric light to take us out of the dark. And man made food full of waters. I know it made the art. This is a man's world, man's world, man's world. But it would be nothing without a woman or a girl. Girl. Learn things about a little bitty baby girl and all baby boys. Man, make them happy. Why? Cause man, make them toys. And not the man who is everything. Everything that he can. Man makes a little bit of money just to buy from another man. This is a man's world, man's world. But it would be nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. Woman or a girl. This world would be nothing without a woman or a girl. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, this is a man's world, man's world. But it would be nothing without a woman. A woman, oh, girl, 
this is a man's world, man. Thank you, Devante. Our next contestant is Logan Windley. Logan is a 17-year-old junior at Nansaman River High School and the Governor School of the Arts. Logan carries a 4.15 GPA at Nansaman River High School and participates in the Bland Music Competition, the Beta Club, and enjoys singing, reading, knitting, and anything musically related. Logan attends Western Branch Baptist, and this evening will be performing Marinde Por Contento by Bellini. Please welcome Logan Windley. Thank you, Logan. Our last contestant is Faith Woodbury Crisp. Faith is a 17-year-old junior at Deep Creek High School in Chesapeake, Virginia. Faith carries a 3.6 GPA and is also at the Governor's School of the Arts. She stays on the principal's honor roll there at Deep Creek High School and enjoys opera singing, praise dancing, painting, and playing the piano. Faith hopes to attend Manhattan School of Music in New York, New York when she graduates from high school and major in vocal performance. This evening, Faith will be performing O Del Mio Dolce by Gluck. Hello, my name is Faith Woodbury Crisp. I am a 17-year-old junior who attends Deep Creek High School and the Governor's School for the Arts vocal program. Today I will be singing O Del Mio Doce by Gluck.
Now let's meet our judges. John Aitkus. John is a retired naval cryptologist who enjoyed a post-military career as a special events planner with the Virginia Beach Neptune Festival. He is a long-term musician with a particular affinity for Celtic and folk music and has appeared publicly in venues from New York to Djibouti. John is the founder of the Doorway Singers and Doorway Entertainment, Inc., and presently serves as choir director for the St. Francis Episcopal Church in Virginia Beach. Presently, he sits on the board of directors of the Coastal Virginia Affiliate of the National Alliance on Mental Illness and the Ziders American Dream Theater. He has recorded and appeared on multiple CDs and has written two books and is working on his third. Ladies and gentlemen, John Itkus. Ashley Fielder. Ashley Fielder, native of Baltimore, Maryland, has been singing and involved in music her entire life. From opening for recording artists like Eric Robeson, Tank, Grammy Award winner PJ Morton, to collaborating with Kevin McCall, and even being featured as a soloist with the Virginia Symphony Orchestra, to name a few. Ashley Fielder has made a vow to change the world through diversity and inspiration with her music. Artists such as Ella Fitzgerald and Brandy have truly made a huge impact on her musicianship. Ashley has prided herself to be an endless artist. She aspires to be a living legend. I just want God to be glorified and help change and better the world through the melody of my song. She always goes by the famous quote daily, success does not happen overnight but it comes from consistently practicing in which you want to be successful in. Ashley was asked to be the opening act for the annual Hampton Jazz Festival in 2019. She opened for the first night for Maxwell, Tamia, Eric Robeson, and more. Recently graduating with a bachelor's degree in music with emphasis in media and voice, Ashley plans to continue to accomplish goals. Top on the list is to travel the world sharing her gift. My goal is to touch hearts with my lyrics, stimulate the mind with my notes, and comfort the soul with my delivery. She works as a director of music and liturgical arts at a mega church in Portsmouth, Virginia. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Fielder. Tiffany Neely Peoples. Tiffany Neely Peoples has a lifelong passion and zeal for music. At the tender age of five, Tiffany's parents, Howard and Sandra Neely, noticed she could identify harmonies and sing various vocal parts in any song she'd hear. Her father, a profound organist, along with her mother, a distinguished vocalist, began to train Tiffany in church. From her start at Grace Lutheran School in Queens, New York, to her higher education at Norfolk State University, to her most recent studies at Georgia State University. Her focus on choir and choral music and her knack for choir development and vocal training have turned her hobby into a profession. While pursuing her undergrad degree at Norfolk State University, she was a member of the Norfolk State University Concert Choir, Spartan Chorale, and Spartan Legion Marching Band. As a scholarship recipient, she was a member of the esteemed I. Sherman Green Chorale under the leadership and tutelage of Dr. Carl Haywood and Professor Terry Butler. She recently graduated from the Georgia College and State University, receiving a master's degree in music education. She currently holds the position of a middle school chorus teacher in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Whether at church serving as director of worship or at work serving as director of choral activities or performing abroad, 
Tiffany is dedicated to teaching and learning. Ladies and gentlemen, Tiffany Neely Peoples. Once again, our first place winner will receive $500 and represent our chapter in the third district talent hunt. The winner of the third district talent hunt will have the opportunity to participate in the International Talent Exposition in Charlotte, North Carolina in July. Our second place winner will receive $300 and our third place winner will receive $200. Now, on to our winners. At this time, I'd like to introduce our Talent Hunt Chairman, Owen Nixon who come on stage to help me introduce our winners. Our third place winner is Faith Woodbury Crisp. Our second place winner is Devante Melton. Our first place winner is Logan Windley. Now, brother Owen Nixon will have some words before we end. I would just like to say thank you to all of our participants and their families. Uh, thank you for the hard work that you put into participating in this competition. I'd like to thank everyone that participated including our host, our MC, uh, Brother Dave Wooded. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who has worked hard to put this program together. Um, we are so excited for our winner to represent us in the district competition. So we're so excited and we will see you again next year for 2023's Omega Talent Hunt. Thank you. Now we'll have our benediction by Brother James Jones, our chaplain. My, 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 I am so thankful. I'm reminded of a scripture that says in Psalm 133, Behold how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. Our hearts have been blessed tonight, and our hearts have been blessed by this occasion. Let us pray. Now unto him who's able to keep us from falling, present us faultless before the Father with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be dominion, majesty, and power. God, we thank you for what our eyes have seen. God, we thank you for what our ears have heard. And then, God, we thank you for what our hearts have been made to feel. Now, God, we ask one final time that you would bless not only us individually, but that you would bless us collectively as we have sought to do thy duty that is best. It's in that marvelous, merciful, and majestic name of the universal name and the supreme counselor of all. It's in that name that we do pray, and they all say it.